Hi Leo, thank you for joining me for your June bonus read. Please remember that this is still a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone, and that includes cross watchers. So, Leo, your energies towards the individual that you're dealing with in love is this deck, their energy towards you is here, and then the potential outcome between you both is the middle deck. Um, as always, please never try and force a timeline to fit your story, okay? Um, switch it if it fits, but never try and force it. Right, so I'm going to speed up this part of the video for you so that you're not sitting watching me uh, shuffle through three card decks. Okay, so Leo in love, please. Okay, so Leo, the zodiacs that I can see in your reading, and please don't hold on too tightly to the zodiacs that I shout out. Some individuals will find the information useful and others not so much. It literally just depends on whether or not you know your entire chart, or indeed if you know the, the entire chart of the individual that you're dealing with. Okay, so we have got um, the Fool, that's Uranus, so it's the element of air. We've got the Hierophant, it's Taurus energy. The Two of Wands is Mars in Aries energies. The Queen of Cups is Cancerian. The King of Wands is your energy, so it's Leo. The Six of Coins is Moon in Taurus. The Four of Wands is Venus in Aries. The High Priestess is moon energy, so it's the element of water. And then we've got your major arcana here, so you could be dealing with another Leo. You've got your two of coins, which is Jupiter in Capricorn. The hanged man is Neptune energy, so it's the element of water. The eight of swords is Jupiter in Gemini, and the high priestess again. You've got the devil, that's Capricorn energy, and the star is Aquarian. Um, the Ace of Cups, that pertains to emotions. The Lovers, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. And the Ten of Coins is Mercury and Virgo, with the King of Cups, which is Scorpion energies. Right, so um, in your current energies, when it pertains to this particular connection, you are definitely... Your future plan in here, you've got two of wands and the four of wands. This is definitely you trying to contemplate what your future is going to look like with this particular individual. This connection to you, it feels like it genuinely could end up going the distance. It, it genuinely does feel that way. You've got the fool also with the hierophant um, in this deck. It's the high priest. So yeah, um, th there is definitely a lot of thought that has gone into your next move when it pertains to this connection. I am looking here at somebody making a marriage proposal here with that particular combination, definitely. And not forgetting, we've got a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups here as well. This is a true match, it's a true pair. It's where you both feel comfortable with each other. You both trust each other. Um, it's it's a very um, mutual energies with that particular couple. What you would like to do is King of Wands and Six of Coins. That is taking action. You would like to take action towards this individual here. Um, and, and you'd like to invest as well for the long term. So your energies towards them, it, it's definitely looking here like you're ready to take the next stage with this individual. And you're certainly looking ready for a commitment. The High Priest, the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Fool. Um, for some of you, the idea of making that final commitment to somebody. A couple of years ago, it quite possibly, it would not have appealed. 
but this particular connection has made you um, reevaluate your old ways and your old beliefs with the high priest um, because that, that's a card of tradition. Um, so yeah, this individual has really helped you to see things, well, to see life from a different perspective here. You, you're definitely breaking free from your old beliefs that are surrounding um, being married. Some of you didn't have very good teachers when you were growing up, uh, which is why for the most part you were quite sort of anti-marriage um, until, until this connection came along. In their energies towards you is the King of Cups. That is somebody who is not afraid to take action on their emotions and they definitely do have a lot and I mean a lot of emotion towards you here with the King of Cups. Um, it's somebody who's not afraid to say that they're in love with you and it's someone who's not afraid to show you that they're in love with you. Um, it's a very respectful energies. In fact, I'm seeing here with this particular setup that you both respect each other. Um, now, they're seeing that you are harboring a secret here with the High Priestess energies. They also see you as the devil. Um, now, th there is nothing surrounding this particular devil card nothing that indicates that that is a toxic energies okay so I don't always automatically assume that um, the devil is necessarily a bad card it in this particular read it genuinely isn't because the cards that are around it you've got the high priestess the star the ace of cups the lovers the ten of coins the king of cups there, there is nothing toxic about that nothing so that tells me that this individual sees you as their lifelong partner because bearing in mind in traditional tarot the devil and the lovers is the same card it's it's it can be the shadow side of the lovers so it can indicate a, a sort of possessiveness with this particular energies though i'm genuinely feeling that this individual is seeing you as a lifelong commitment, as a very, very strong soul connection also with that particular combination. They are seeing that currently you're being very, very secretive. So for the most part, I'm looking here in this particular read that Leo is about to pop the question here and your person has picked up on the fact that um, you're hiding something. They're, they're trying to figure out what it is that you're hiding from them. They feel deep down that it's nothing bad. Um, they, they genuinely do, but they do know that you're hiding something. They definitely know that you're up to something. They can't quite figure out what. Okay. How they feel about you, the star and the ace of cups. Oh, I've just dropped. Um, oh dear. <laughs> you have to excuse me a minute, Leo. <laughs> Um, so that stone that I always hold during my readings, I just dropped that down my top. Um, they see you as nurturing. How they feel about you, the star and the ace of cups, well, they are massively in love with you here with the ace of cups. They feel that incredibly strong um, bond to you and also with them see sorry with them feeling the star energy towards you they um they feel that there is a lot of harmony and balance in this connection um, both physically and emotionally they um there is an element here of divine timing and it can indicate somebody being in the public eye. It can be. Um, either way, it indicates a brand new dawn. So 
Yeah, it's there's a very strong vibe here of a brand new chapter with this particular combination. So your person feels ready to begin this brand new chapter with you, with that combination. Um, and what what do they want to do? The, the lovers and the ten of coins. So they want to um, be committed to you for the longest t ten of coins. That That's the card of long term. Um, it's it's the card of future planning for the for the future generations. It's the card of legacy, um, family stability, <clears throat> financial stability. Uh, the card of family, long term success. It's the card of satisfaction and feeling settled. Um, so this individual genuinely wants to be with you for the long term. They want to be committed, married to you. So in this particular deck, you can see there's two doves here um, and between them, there's a red ribbon. And then on that red ribbon is a ring. So there, there is literally marriage written all over this particular read, all over it. In your potential future outcome, You've got the High Priestess, Strength, the Two of Coins, the Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords. I'm feeling, Leo, that this is more likely than not your energies and you have nearly, you, you've come very, very close to broaching the subject with your person. And then you've backed out at the very last minute with that particular combination. So the very short term outcome of this, for the immediate future, you are going to keep your intention secret for now until you feel that you have built up your confidence because that there's something that has kind of knocked your confidence a little bit here and for some of you it pertains to your finances and your financial situation um, i am seeing here that you are trying to balance out your finances first before you pop that question um, because you're feeling a bit stuck at the moment until your finances has been dealt with. So it's almost as if um, you felt on top of the world at one point and everything was going amazing, everything was smooth, it was fine. Um, you were literally about to make that commitment and pop the question and then all of a sudden the world turned to shit and with it so did your finances. And because of that, you were never able to get to that point of asking the question. Um, and with that being the Eight of Swords as well, it, it genuinely has knocked your confidence as well as everything else. So I am seeing that um, your finances, it is going to be resolved. It is. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, it was actually your work, your career um, that took you away from this connection. Um, because the hangman pertains to some sort of sacrifice and the two of coins is um, a balance reclaiming your balance and with it being coins i am getting strong finances here for you that has come in between you your connection and the commitment that you're both wanting to make to each other also somebody with this particular combination somebody is needing to release something before they can proceed Going to 
something else for Leo, please. individuality and priorities you understand the paramount importance of, of manifesting love in all situations and you leave your unique stamp of love on everything that you do individuality priorities somebody here could well be using work as an excuse um, to try and <clears throat> See, that there's definitely a fear of commitment that is coming in from your past, Leo. Um, you, met this, you met this individual. Everything was going fine. You were ready to sort of make that ultimate commitment to them. The world has turned to shit and with it so did your finances. Um, you're trying to rebalance out your priorities. Uh, somebody here could well be using their job as an excuse to try and ignore the fact that they're not yet feeling confident to, to do what they really genuinely want to do, which is to pop the question. It's like, it's like you, you want to do something, Leo. You, you want to make the commitment, um, but because it's, it's like you, your confidence knock has stopped you in your tracks and it's like now you're kind of ignoring it. Um, you're trying not to think about what you were going to do. Um, Definitely somebody here needs to reevaluate their priorities. You've also got a fear of a sense of losing your own individuality. So it's it's like um you, you nearly popped the question, you backed out, and then every time you think about doing it again, it's like you, you're getting all of these negative thoughts. Should I, shouldn't I? Yeah, but I might lose a sense of who I am. Um, I kind of like the idea of being able to walk away um, if things go wrong. It, it's that kind of energy. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Something else for Leo, please. Yemea. It says, remove the human imposed restrictions placed inside belief systems, explore misunderstandings of other faiths, exploring the lines which blur across belief systems, being spiritual with the human constraints, um, third eye and crown chakras activated, sacral and base chakras grounded and flowing. Okay. Um, Remove the human imposed restrictions inside belief systems. So you want to make the lifelong commitment with this individual, but you don't believe in the institute of marriage per se. You don't believe in the, the restrictions that it can sometimes impose depending on where you are in the world. Um, yeah. Is there anything else for Leo in love, please? Right, so we've got a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Be, be nice, kind, smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Careful not to roughshod over anyone. Tense, uh, a tense situation calls for more fun. What I'm actually getting with that particular card for you, Leo, is um, you're going to step away from the energy of seriousness for a bit. 
and you're going to try and inject a little bit more light-hearted energy into this connection because it's gotten to the point where it's feeling um, really heavy and really serious so somebody here is definitely they they will be injecting more light-hearted energies into this it's a it's a bit of a strange read for you leo okay right this next deck is not going to resonate for absolutely everyone okay um this deck is going to give a bit of an indication about the zodiac signs that you might be dealing with oops who's leo dealing with please okay Right, so we've got Libra, Taurus, Cancer, and the second house as Taurus again, and the moon. So because for the way that this particular deck works, it's the ruling planets, okay? So the moon here is indicating the Cancerian energies again. So somebody is definitely dealing with a Taurus and someone is definitely dealing with a Cancerian. Um, again, this, this deck works differently from the tarot, okay? Um, now it's indicating here that the connection is going to be rebalanced all right it says seeks harmony and balance in relationships so where this particular connection was feeling really sort of serious for a while um, there, there is definitely that light-hearted energies that we saw being injected back into this connection Turian energy this is indicating as we saw in your outcome where your finances were being balanced back out again it's that's literally a repeating message um, and then this one this is a very sort of homely energy with your cancer energies there, there's a little bit of a fantasy here somebody's fantasizing about what the future is going to look like and um, somebody might even be fantasizing about having children as well and um, there's definitely that energies of this is my dream this is the current reality and this is the steps that we need to take to get there that there's a very well thought out plan here leo very well thought out and it's like you're determined to um it's like somebody here is determined to actually be married before they have children it's a really bizarre read leo um it's a bit different <laughs> okay so that is what i have for you leo please like share or subscribe if that has resonated for you and thank you so so much to those of you who have already supported my channel i appreciate every single one of you if you'd like to book a private reading with me then that information can be found in my descriptions box below so thank you again leo please do take care out there and we shall speak again soon bye